Well, Jacqueline wasn't at school today, so I'll visit Mr. Smart on my own. Well, he always leaves his front door open, and oh, he'd be disappointed if no one shows up. Yesterday, Mr. Smart showed Jacqueline how to kiss goodbye properly. <laughs> they stood at his front door, and I watched as she craned up her face to his. He held her face with one hand, put his mouth on hers, and moved his head around. <laughs> when it was my turn, I only got a peck on the cheek. Ooh, I say, as usual, walk straight to the kitchen, which smells of tobacco. No answer from the dining room. Hoping he's all right, because he's even older than my grandma. I knock on the dining room door, then try and open it. It's locked. Then I spot a note on the kitchen table, held down by a plate with some dried egg on it bacon rind and the stub of a rolled cigarette. Uh, Mr Smart isn't very tidy, or in fact, smart. Uh, well, he wears a suit, but um, it's baggy at the knees and the ankles. Bake soon, reads the note, in wobbly writing. I wait five minutes wondering what to write on my note. Spelling won't matter. Perhaps I should mention that um, Jacqueline is ill, but then I only have my Spanish exercise book to write on. In the end, I write my name and draw a smiley on his note. I'm just outside the gate. Without that kiss, about to turn the corner when I hear behind me, ooh. Mr. Smart is on his way home and he's waving at me.